Hello? Are we live? I think so. What up? It's Kenny. I'm just... I'm just playing some Lobotomy Corporation to test out the setup a bit. Figure I could run through tutorial. I'm not super familiar with the whole SCP thing, so it should be kind of fun. So let's see what we got. Crash. No, wait, no, I just clicked off. Oh, cool. Hello, manager. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Starting today, you're responsible for many abnormalities we have in ensuring that we meet daily energy quota. You can move with the move buttons. Cool. Whenever when you hover your mouse over an agent, some information about them will be shown in the top right corner. Please try selecting an agent and pressing the primary mouse button. Gosh, indecisive newbie. Well done! The information displayed in the panel on the right is a selected agent. Some of this is vital, such as their six and O equipment. Please view the section in the titled The Agents for more details about what this information means. One day, control team, decisive, right stick, stuff, fortitude, temperance, prudence, justice. Yeah. I, can't, I can't believe people can die so easily. <laughs> what is he already seen? What? The bar at the top left of the screen displays the amount of energy you need to collect to end the day. The top right corner lists what missions you are able to attempt today. Our company produces energy when a product called Positive... I can't put... PE, a green box, is released by an abnormality. Abnormality generates PE boxes while it is being worked on. Please click on the containment unit holding an abnormality. Primary mouse button. Okay. Ah, since you have yet to unlock any information about it, you have no way of knowing how it will respond to the four different work types. In order to learn to work with it. For now, please select the first work type available. Instinct. Okay. Instinct work satiates an abnormality's physiological needs and desires. When an agent conducts instinct work, their fortitude of the day, raising their health points. Alright. Each word you can press your agents have different results. Success rate. Work type will also vary between abnormalities. If your employee is not mentally ready, abnormalities may appear more frightening or disturbing to them. As such, they may receive fear damage when encountering them, which will lower their sanity points. Employees over lower grade will take far more fear damage than encounters with abnormalities of higher risk levels. I guess that's like a little cat robot. Cool. Abnormalities release the green stuff. When agents work with them, and we collect this into what we call e-boxes. Depending on how the agent performs during the work process, the abnormality will either respond positively or negatively. When it reacts positively, it will release positive and kephalon, which produces a green peaky box. However, if the abnormality reacts negatively, it will release negative that thing. Instead, it can damage the agent. Please keep in mind that when an agent HP or SP drops completely, the work process will be forcefully terminated. Like people. Style of everything. And think of the word to describe it, but I like it. An abnormality's mood might change depending on the outcome of the work done with it. 
this outcome can be predict predicted based on the amount of PE boxes we obtain during the work process. An abnormality typically has three states of response. Good. Neutral. Bad. Depending on the outcome, it may use a special ability or attempt to escape. When the work process is completed, the PE boxes are collected. Boxes that count towards the quota. Abnormality also predicts that a PE boxes um, these PE boxes are abnormal. Box counter can be used to unlock for abnormalities in the mission or to extract the liquid. Mm -hmm. After work has been completed with an abnormality, you cannot send another agent to work with it for a short period of time. So you can work with it again, you can send your agent to work with other abnormalities or let them heal up in the room. Whenever the department regenerator gauge fills completely, employees in the main room will be healed. This will restore both their health and sanity. Let's try ordering an agent to work with a new method. First, click on the agent with the primary mouse button. Dash, going. Now please use the secondary mouse button to click on the containment unit. Please be aware that you can accidentally deselect the agent during this process. Still don't know much about this abnormality besides that it's a cat robot. So please, order the agent to perform insight work with it. There's a bloodborne joke there. Inside work is a work to improve living conditions and certain containment units are in optimal condition. When an agent performs inside work, their prudence will increase at the end of the day, raising their sanity point. You seem to have collected a sufficient number of abnormalities P boxes. Time to learn about observation. Please press the nameplate displayed at the top of the containment unit. At the moment, it's the subject number instead of the name. After unlocking the abnormalities, Ed. Okay. Oh. This displays the current information we have on the abnormality. See, we still have very little knowledge about it. As most of it is locked away. Huh. We need to spend some of the unique boxes we collected from the abnormality. Please try to unlock the basic information about the abnormality now. Okay. Well, I got 19. Oh, it's a rabbit! Details and tips concerning the management of the abnormality are displayed here. If there is something the abnormality dislikes, it can result in a decrease of its... That's that's some sort of like kind of reference. I bet. Floop, floth, counter, and causes problems with the rest of our energy production. Please be sure you unlock and read the abnormality encyclopedias thoroughly. Now, try to unlock this information. How the abnormality reacts to the different work types is right here. The greater the preference for a certain work type, the more successful the work process will be. The number on the left indicates the virtue level an agent needs to perform that level of work. Please unlock all of this information. Okay. Continuing on, this area shows the maximum view counter of the abnormality. It will also inform you on whether an abnormality is capable of escaping as well as its damage resistances when it does. Knowing what an abnormality is weak to will be crucial in handling any escape situations. Try to unlock this information now. Okay. Oops. 
weak to that. Insight. Let me know if you really. You have now maximized the observation level of this abnormality. When you unlock a section of the encyclopedia, the observation level of the abnormality will increase. This will provide additional benefits when working with abnormality, such as increased work speed and success rate. Once the observation level reaches a certain point, extraction and production of eco equipment from the abnormality will become available at the cost of its unique boxes. Ego weapons are powerful tools that can help with the suppression of abnormalities. Please, track one now. Okay. I... Wait. Oh, they're... they're this called colors? Okay, better. That's fine. Yeah. Ego suits offer increased resistance to certain types of damage. Conversely, some forms of damage may cause greater wounds depending on what ego suit is in use. Please, track one now. Well done, manager. Here, you can view what ego gift the abnormality may present to an agent. If this information is unlocked, each time the agent finishes the work process with the abnormality, they will have the possibility of receiving the ego gift displayed here. Please note that the chances of this occurring tend to be rather slim. Fair enough. Lastly, let us take a look at the observation records. Please click on what I just covered over. During your training dummy rabbit, an abnormality in the shape of a training dummy used to train up and coming managers. Rumor has it that this abnormality was chosen to be used for training as it is most docile and tame of any that we have extracted. It's called the training dummy rabbit, but it doesn't seem to enjoy carrots. It likes people. If it escapes, it is merely following Please, as a lead containment unit. In the section of the encyclopedia, you can read through the observation records of the abnormality. Lines will be added as your observation level increases. Now then, everything. Please exit this window by clicking on. Now you unlock the basic information. Some of it is displayed at the top of the containment unit. Furthermore, as you unlock the list of its favorite work, we now have that abnormality prefers, and we now know that it prefers attachment. Makes sense, because it's a rabbit. Let's try out ordering an agent to attach and work with it. Please click on the abnormality. Additional parts of the basic information are displayed in the window as well. Andrew, why don't you try ordering an agent to perform attach and work? Have, as you have learned the preference for attachment work, the success rate the agent will have, and the amount of time needed to perform the work are displayed. You can also see the various details of the agent by mousing over them. This will allow you to make mindful decisions when giving out orders. Please, select an agent to do the work. Oh, okay, Josh. One last thing I should warn you about. time an agent enters a containment unit to work with an abnormality, Help down gauge will fill by one tick. Ah, okay. When the gauge fills completely, a Q meltdown will occur throughout the facility. The number on the right part of the gauge indicates the number of containment units that will be affected. Affected containment units will receive a meltdown alarm and will have an alert around them. When a Q meltdown occurs, the containment unit will have a timer displayed alongside the alarm on top. This timer will slowly drop until it reaches zero. However, if the abnormality was already being worked with, okay, missed that. Meltdown can be resolved by performing works with the abnormalities who contain the units are affected. Not to spiss in the time limit, the portion of the energy that we have collected will be lost and the key counter of the containment unit will be dropped to zero. Please, try to prevent this from happening. You can find more details about this in the work count penalty section of the manual. Okay, so. Huh. so when this counter hits that, this starts a timer. The timer goes, I need to do a work to reset it. And that makes that go up. I guess that's the cool, cool, cool. Each time the cube meltdown occurs in the facility, the meltdown level increases. The higher the meltdown level, the more containment you can double undergo the meltdown. There's also 
Oh boy. I believe we have covered almost everything you need to know to begin managing abnormalities. If you have any desire to read more about it, which I highly recommend, please look it up in the manual. The manual can be controlled any time. We're pressing F1. Now then, shall we finish the workday? What we do is press the button at uh who has performed work will have their status values increase according to the work types they perform. After these values pass a certain point, their corresponding virtue level will increase. The agent's level can also increase if their virtues are high enough. Those who achieve this will be promoted, as shown in the list below. Okay. Oh, good on you, Josh. Going to... Up, up, up. You also receive LOB as a reward for your hard work in accordance with your management ranking. You can ensure a high rank by keeping more of your agents alive at the end of the day. The higher your rank, LOBs you will receive. However, any abnormality loose when you choose to complete the workday will lose some of the LOB you have otherwise earned. Cool LOB. You which throughout the day. Time you clear a mission, you conduct research in the department you came from at the start of the next day. Management back to the next day, or retry the current day. Dead agents and lost ego equipment will be recovered if you decide to retry. However, you will also lose any abnormality observations, boxes, extracted ego equipment, and promotions earned if you begin the day new. Now, I wonder, are the likes and like dislikes, are those rank generate? Or are those set? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say Fun for try. Anyway, finally, please click on the button to skip to the next day. From there, I will instruct you on deployment. in the art style. But when a mission is successfully completed, you will conduct a research project. The proposals for a department, various research projects are displayed at the start of each day during deployment. Select one, click and drag it to the left at the lower right. Click proceed to confirm your choice. Please try to do the proposal. Projects and activate assembly seven. I don't try to show what all that means, but let's go. <laughs> Denver. Do you recall how you were awarded lobs for your skill during management? The total number of lobs you have garnered. For this part of my instruction, I'll show you how to spend some of your lob to hire new agents and how to deploy them. Begin by hiring some new agents. The hire button. Here you can view the information. You're soon to be new hire. Test their virtues by clicking on the arrow next to them. If, for example, you desire to hire an agent with more HP, you can increase their fortitude. Try that now. Okay. Ah. As you increase the virtue levels of an agent before hiring them, the amount of lobs required will increase as well. The higher the values, the more lobs they will cost. You may need to consider thoroughly how much lob you are willing to spend on just one agent, as well as how much you will have afterwards before finalizing your Once you finish adjusting your new agent to how you want to be, you can press the higher button again to finalize the procedure. Please. So now. Okay. What's it, guys? Die. Oh. And it. Okay. Hey, Junior Customizing has just been hired. How about we take a look at their information again? Click on. Just like we viewed the information during management, the information about your agents played here is just the same. If you think your agent could utilize some strengthening in one of their virtues, you can do it by fortifying them. Please. Thank you, 
exactly as we adjusted the virtues during hiring, you can adjust them here by pressing the arrows next to each one. Please remember that a seated prior will cost additional lobs to do so. Try aug augmenting prudence by one level. Employee is ready to be deployed. Let's do so by clicking and dragging the agent with the primary yada yada. Well done. Now, to give them some equipment, if you recall we extracted some ego equipment from the Amorality yesterday. Give that to our employees. To do it, please press the fill this button. Currently displayed in the list of available EO weapons. You should now click on one of your agents in the list. Direct to select them. Kukuru. Where's Joshua? Joshua. Our boy. Oh, well. And you're new. Now, assign EO weapon to your select agent by clicking one of the empty slots. Oh, okay. Continuing on, let us take a look at the list of available EO suits. Go suit tab. Just as before, you can assign an for your agent clicking up. Please take a moment to test equipping other employees with both ego weapons and ego. Well, so. Is that the name of the bunny? Yes, the left the standard riots. Why? Oh, well, let's just give everyone the. This! I see, uh, Bria. Uh, that's. Uh, Oh boy, I picked a fun game to start with. Excellent work! We should head back to the deployment screen, please. Exit the list. It appears that there is a mission awaiting you for today. It's not necessary to clear every mission you have immediately, but it is recommended to handle them soon so that they, you'll be able to conduct research the following day. Hey, mission complete. We're processing abnormalities. One last thing. If you have any further questions involving the management process for deployment, just press F1 for the manual. Next, I will briefly explain to you how to deal with emergency situations that may arise when you are managing abnormalities. When you're ready, please begin the next save. Allow me. You counter. It will decrease if you happen to violate the. Oh man, man, I thought that was some weird word. Managerial guideline shown in the abnormalities encyclopedia or fail to avert a cube count in time. Now you must be wondering what happens when the counter drops to zero now. Shall we find out? Russian work. Adam. Doesn't matter, let's go. Alpha. Yes. That, that. Follow me. Uh oh. What? Okay, okay. Right. 
First trumpet. Ominous name. When an abnormality's cute counter reaches zero, they will either escape or use a special ability. Such things can lead to rather inconvenient situations. This particular abnormality happens to escape. Our agents cannot work with it while it is escaping, so we need to suppress it. Click on this abnormality. Abnormalities can inflict four different damage types. Red, white, sanity, black, which is AO, which decreases HP by a percentage based on the target's maximum HP. Curious. Agents equipped with Ego can also utilize one of these four damage types. Furthermore, abnormalities have a set of defenses for these damage types. Some forms of attack may be weak, while others could be fatal. Press an abnormality more effectively when your agents attack using the damage types and abnormality using the defense. This abnormality deals red damage to white damage. How convenient that our agents are all equipped with ego assist which resists red and ego weapons that deal white. Most convenient. Other thing. If an agent is using ego weapon whose raid is higher than the abnormality is visible, yo, that drops. Kind of vibe. I, mean, I, I kind of want to let this guy run around for a bit. No, uh, try to get through this. Risk level. So, oh, so they're like ranks. The so test. Zayin. Wonderful. They will deal more damage to the abnormality and take less damage as well. In our current situation, the Ego's Great and Abnormalities with Civil are the same. As equals F. So this does not apply. When the suppression UI is on display, you can take note of which Ego each agent has been equipped with before sending them into combat. Hovering your mouse over an agent will also allow you to check up on their defenses. Now please, click down an agent to begin suppressing our escape abnormality. I will slow. Oh, alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks. Coming face to face with an abnormality, especially so when it is on the loose, can be quite shocking and frightening for your employees. Just like when enemy unit damage if the risk level of the abnormality is high while the agent's level is low it will cause a heavier strain on their mind and lower a larger portion hey Wait, what? It appears that this abnormality is a bit too strong for just one press. Ah, uh, this is a good time to remind you that if an agent dies, the ego they were assigned will be lost as well. Now, let's press the employees to help suppress this abnormality. There are two agents by clicking and dragging on the primary mouse button. Click on the abnormality with the right mouse button to immediately order them to suppress it. Please be aware that you can accidentally deselect the agent process. That uh, came up a lot. <laughs> it is much safer. Well, give your orders when you pause. Pause the flow of time by pressing the icon on the left or by pressing down the space bar of. Pause. Oh, are they freaking out? Because you've done well handling this situation. Let's move our employees back to the main room of the apartment. Please select them all by clicking and dragging. Well, 
selected, use right mouse button to click on the main room. Is that you can also use. Have to wait on standby in other locations such as hallways and other apartments. The leg thing, right? Very cool. Very cool. I saw my dead colleague yesterday. Had nice dinner and coffee together. He seemed to be doing just fine. I might visit him soon. Yes. Yep. Wait, an employee's sanity falls to zero. They will panic. A panicked employee will show different behavior depending on their highest that virtue. We shall learn more, to, more about this. Please refer to the section employee panic in the manager's manual. Now, please click on the currently panicking employee with the mouse button. Agents can be recovered from their panic when their SP were completely 100%. SP can be stored with white or black no weapons. Conveniently, all of our current agents are equipped to go that deal white damage. Please select all of your available agents and order them to suppress the panicked employee. Oh. Okay. Bomb. They're just hitting her to make her insane. Nice. That was excellent. Truly well done. If you ever happen to fall into a situation you would like wish to redo, such as turning back time to avoid the death of an agent, you can do so by pressing escape and clicking the rewind to memory repository button or by clicking the drive. When you choose memory repository, you will go back to the most recent day. If you try, on the other hand, we'll restart back at the current limit. Okay. Lastly, call all our agents department. By selecting them. Button. However, there is a need enter next to the generator gauge at the department call button. Click to summon all your agents active home departments. Please try to. Okay. to you! This concludes our basic manager training and education. If any questions or concerns happen to cross your mind while you're on the job, you can always refer to them by pressing F1. Lastly, there will be tooltips that appear if you mouse over the various interviews. Good luck and lasting health at Autonomy Corporation. Huh. But that's a bit shorter than I was expecting. <laughs> well, that's alright. My throat's kind of hurting. Because I am not used to this. But, hope you enjoyed the VOD stream tutorial. Next time, the first day. Oh boy. I'll see you in the next I just need to have some. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay.